We made it to New York and I have to show you our room. I'm freaking out. Everything's been going amazingly. We got early check-in without even asking. Let me show you what's going on here. Okay, so you walk in. It's quite dark, that's okay. There's this cute little area here and there's a microwave and there's a fridge down there. And then we got this like living area. It is so cute. I love everything about this place. Everything is so freaking adorable. So like when I wake up early in the morning or something, I can come out here. Look at look at our view. Nothing special, nothing special. Empire State Building. <laughs> and we'll go to the bedroom, which is a separate room. It's a king size room. And then the bathroom is there, but Chris is in that. So I'm sure we'll see that later. Also, we are here for our 10 year anniversary. That is what we're doing. This is our fifth time here. Um, in the past like 10 years, it's just our favorite place. We are about to head out and go to the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child uh, play on like Broadway. And we're also gonna go get some tacos from our favorite place, Lost Tacos number one. So I will show you some of that on the way, but I'm not bringing my camera. Um, I will bring my phone and just show you everything. Hey guys, so I feel like kind of like a bad vlogger. I've been capturing everything that we've been doing, but I haven't been like talking. Honestly, this trip has like been amazing, but it's still a struggle for me. Like walking around the streets, my feet hurt so bad, my legs hurt so bad. I'm getting so sweaty, which is so annoying. I'm just like sweaty and then I finally cool down again and then I'm sweaty all over again and it's just like not, not a vibe. And honestly, I'm just trying to like enjoy the thing that I'm doing and not like picking up a camera and trying to talk and worrying about what I look like. I don't want to see what I look like on the streets because I'm just like sure I'm not going to be pleased with it. So yesterday after we spoke, we went out to the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child on Broadway, which was amazing. I'm not sure how I feel about like the story like of the play, but the production was incredible. Like the things that they did, like, like I'll never understand how they were able to do that and pull it off. The stage magic was so good. Um, so that was amazing. Like, highly recommend seeing it, especially if you're a Harry Potter fan. Or even if you're not, because this stage, like, production was just so good. Uh, but right after that, we went... Where did we go? Oh, we went down, like, south a little bit more, and I got sweet green for dinner. I was craving it, like, a lot. Um, I've been craving salads a lot lately, which we love that for me. It's, like, spring mix. They have this new caramelized garlic steak that I got that was really good. I got the spicy broccoli, sweet potato, parmesan, some cucumber that I kind of regretted getting. Chris ate those. Um, and then the Green Goddess Ranch is my 
my favorite. Like that's, I haven't even tried any of the other sauces. That's the one that I get every single time. And then we went over to this Swedish candy store, Bon Bon. That place is interesting. It's like $18 a pound. So we ended up spending like $24, like a pound and a half of candy to bring home. Uh, but it was worth it. We tried a little bit last night and like, it was worth it. It's exactly what I wanted it to be. But from there we went over and we went to Shake Shack for Chris. So Chris had Shake Shack for dinner and I sat there and just ate my sweet green. I never used to do that. I used to always get cravings for things like sweet green or something like that. But the, the cravings for like fast food, fried food, stuff like that would always like win. But for once I'm finally starting to change and I like want the like healthier, fresher thing the more colorful thing like more often and like I'm genuinely craving it and I would have been upset last night if I got Shake Shack instead of Sweet Green because I really wanted it so I was like really happy with that choice and then I had like a couple of Christmas fries and we got like a strawberry lemonade which was really good went down to the ferry so it's a free ferry from the Whitehall ferry terminal it takes you over to Staten Island and it gets like honestly fairly close to the Statue of Liberty and the view of the city as you're pulling away is just amazing we went like right at sunset time and coming back was beautiful too to like Whole Foods really quickly and I grabbed some strawberries to have for the room and we came back to just the hotel and we were back at the hotel around like 11 or so and just like passed right out. Fast forward to today, we woke up this morning, we walked on the corner where our hotel is. We There was a pret or a pret a manger, pret a manger, however you say it. Um, and I just wanted to go really badly because I wanted like a little Europe vibe while we were here. So we went and did that really quickly and then we went over to the Roosevelt Island tram and we took the tram to Roosevelt Island, which was like, I don't even know how much that was like two dollars or something um crazy experience it was really cute like really good view but we missed the ferry so the whole purpose was for us to like take the tram over there get the ferry and come all the way like down the side of manhattan and get off at like pier 11 but we missed the ferry by literally 30 seconds and there wasn't another one for an hour and we didn't have time to wait so we flipped our itinerary around a bit and we ended up going to chris's store so we went to kith emilia and door um I think that was it. He got something at both places, so love that for him. And then we went to Mama's too for lunch. Oh my god, it was phenomenal. The cacio e pepe slice was ridiculous. We ended up getting another one. Like we just, we got up and got another one because it was just so good. I don't even know how to describe it to you. Like just phenomenal. 10 out of 10, you have to go. We also got the chicken a la vodka sandwich. But honestly, I think the slices were a bit better. Just surprised by it because I almost didn't even want any of the slices until you walk in and you see there's this like square slice Catch my pepe sauce on it and like a mountain of like super soft fluffy parmesan. Amazing. Highly recommend. We took the uh, subway back up here to Grand Central and we got Magnolia Bakery, which is in the fridge right now, which we'll have in a little while. And we're just hanging out at the hotel right now, getting re ready for like dinner. After this, we're gonna head out and we're gonna go to, we're gonna go play like mini golf and then we're going for dinner. Um, and then we're going to the rooftop cinema club tonight, which I love. So I'll show you all that. Um, sorry, I'm probably honestly not going to be pulling out my camera and talking for the rest of it, but I'll show you what we get up to. Because um, I do like remembering to pull out my camera so I can talk about it later with you guys and like give you recommendations and stuff. And then maybe one day I will get more comfortable with the idea of like filming myself in public and like pulling out my camera when I'm looking like my absolute roughest because it's rough out here. It's rough out here. So it has been a little while since we've gotten back from New York. I won't tell you how long, um, but I finally sat down to edit this and I realized that I was definitely missing some stuff. So on our last day, I didn't get a lot of footage because I wasn't feeling very well. I think that like I did really well on this trip, but it definitely caught up to me. Sorry, please ignore the sirens. That is city life for you. I was feeling very tired, very fatigued. Moving around the city was very challenging. So it was just like not 
interested in pulling the camera out. So basically what we did that day, we just like shopped around a little bit. We went over to Williamsburg. We did like a little bit of shopping for Chris, came back into the city, grabbed some lunch, went to the hotel to get ready, and then we went out for dinner. We went to Au Cheval, which is really good. It's like a really popular or like famous restaurant. They're like famous for their burger, which was, I had a bite of it and it was honestly really, really good. Chris loved it and everything else was like really good as well. And then unfortunately, so we were supposed to go to the comedy cellar after dinner, but I started not feeling very well and I definitely couldn't go. So we went back to the hotel and we tried not to let it like ruin the night. So we stayed in, um, got comfortable and watched like some comedy specials on Netflix, which I'm so glad we did that and didn't just like, get upset that we couldn't go do what we wanted to do and like act like the trip was ruined or anything. So we had a really nice time. We had a really nice hotel room. So it was actually like nice to get to like hang out and uh, just chill in like a hotel bed and watch some Netflix specials and just, it was nice. That was unfortunate, but we will be back to New York. We will go many, 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 many more times in our lives. This is my fifth time there in the past 10 years and we just love it there. We just want to keep going back. So we'll definitely make it back to the comedy cellar. But yeah, so this was was a really great trip it was for our 10 year anniversary everything was amazing every trip for me is like a therapy exercise basically like I have to challenge myself a lot physically and mentally and it just keeps getting easier and easier every time I travel which is great because I love traveling and I want to do it forever and I want to do even more of it so I'm just doing my best um, in life right now to just get myself like physically and mentally ready for more and more travel. I'm gonna take you along that journey and so you can just see like what are all the things I'm doing in my regular life to prepare myself to do more travel um, and to handle travel better while I'm doing it. I hope you'll stick around and like see what's been going on and what I'm up to and just everything that I'm doing in my life right now to just kind of like up level and just keep getting better and better and more happy and more positive and more comfortable and more confident. So thank you guys so much for watching this quick little New York City trip vlog and I hope to see you back here for my next video next week. Bye.